Hi guys, it's Amy here and today we're going to be looking at the Quickly course tool. And the thing we're going to focus on today is sending email. So if I just go over here, I'm going to click on send email. And what this does is it brings up a nice long list of all my courses. So I can um, just start selecting the ones I wish to send this email to, or I can even use the search box here and select some courses. Uh, if I want, I can clear the search box and search for another course and add these in. And every time I clear the search box and uh, search again, it keeps the memory of the, the previous selected courses. So the ones I selected earlier are still selected. So I can just do that as many times as I want to select courses. Once I've selected my courses, I'm going to want to start composing my email. So let's go into the main body here. And the first thing we see is send to. And at the moment, everyone is selected. However, I maybe just want to send this to students. So I'm going to select specific roles and I'm just going to scroll down the page and I can actually see the specific roles that are available in Blackboard. Most of the time we just use student and instructor. Um, so in this case, maybe I just want to send this to students. It could be something important about assessment. So I'll then select my student and hit save list. I can also select to send a copy of the email to myself for every course. So I think I've selected about six courses, so I'd get six copies of the email. Uh, and that's quite useful if I want to check that they've definitely gone out. So I'll give this a subject heading. So I'll just say it's for assessment. And then in the body of the email, your is due tomorrow. I won't go into too much detail about how you can set up uh, how you should type your, your email message as you, you're all aware how to do that. However, in here, what we can do is we can do things like insert and we can add links and we can also format the text uh, with bold, italic, underline. We can also choose headings um, and change the font, change the font size, change the color, background color, etc. in here if we need to. Okay. Um, down at the bottom, I've also got this little computer icon here, and if I were to select that, it would allow me to upload a file as well, which could then be sent out. Once I'm happy with my email, I would just then hit the submit button, and this would send out to all the students on these courses, letting them know that their assessment is due tomorrow.